Good afternoon, my name is Todd. I'm going to be your logic tutor. Today I'm going to show you how to determine the validity of an argument by truth table. Okay, and uh, this applies to deductive arguments. Validity is a concept that only applies to deductive arguments. And first, we need to remind ourselves of what validity is. Uh, we have a little explanation all right here. A deductive argument is valid if the conclusion for a given interpretation must be true if all the premises are true for said interpretation. Okay, um, so we can run a truth table, create a truth table for an entire argument, and then we can determine based on that truth table whether it's valid or invalid by thinking about the following. If there is one interpretation, one line, that has all true premises but the conclusion is false, then the argument is invalid. If, however, no interpretation, no line, has all true premises and a false conclusion, then the argument would be valid. Uh, this will make much more sense as we do a problem, so let's do that. So, we're going to look at this argument right here, 71. Uh, and the way that we're reading this is uh, 1 is a premise, 2 is a premise, 3 is a premise, C is the conclusion. Uh, so we have three statement constants, which means to get all of the possible combinations of truth values for the statement constants. We have 2 to the third, which is 8. We need 8 lines for all the possible interpretations. And we already have those here, and we already have them filled out using our pattern of going true-false, uh, then doubling it to two trues, two falses, and doubling it again for uh, four trues and four falses. Okay. And uh, the way this is laid out, uh, right here is the first premise, this is the second premise, this is the third premise, and this is the conclusion. When you're calculating and determining whether an argument is valid by truth table, the very first thing you should do is calculate the conclusion. All right, and in our case, the conclusion is, is just C. Um, and so there's not much work to do to calculate the conclusion because all we have to do is copy uh, this column under C, uh, true, false, true, false, true, false, true, false, and we've calculated the truth value of the conclusion. Why do we do that first? Well, when you're trying to determine whether an argument is valid or invalid, you should think to yourself, you're trying to prove the argument invalid. And if you can't show that it's invalid, then you know it must be valid. All right, so we're trying to prove that the argument is invalid. And remember, an argument is invalid only when it has true premises but a false conclusion. So we need true premises and a false conclusion. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for invalidity, which would mean everywhere that the conclusion is true doesn't and cannot tell us that the argument is invalid, so we can eliminate those lines. So look at line one, interpretation one, the conclusion ends up being true. So we don't need to consider this line anymore. We're looking for a case of validity, and that's only possible if the conclusion is false. Line three, the conclusion is true, so we don't need to work that either. Line five, the conclusion is true, don't need to work that either. Um, uh, line 7, the conclusion is true. We don't need to work that line either. So we've reduced our work in half already. So now what we need to do is see if we can find an interpretation. We're going to look at two first, where the premises all come out true and the conclusion is false. If so, it's invalid. All right, let's work on the first premise, uh, A or C. A on this interpretation is true, and C is false, so that comes out true. So remember, we're trying to prove that the argument is invalid, so we're looking at a case where all the premises end up being true for an interpretation. So since this is true, we're still interested in this interpretation. Let's look at the second premise then, A if and only if B. Uh, A on this is true and B is true. 
A if and only if B when both are true is true. Okay, we're still interested in this interpretation because so far all the premises are true. Uh, now we're going to go to the last premise, which is not B. B is true on this line, so not B would be false. All right, so we did not get a case where all the premises are true and the conclusion is false, so we're going to scratch this out, and now we're going to consider line 4, interpretation 4. Uh, let's calculate the truth value of the proof first premise A or C where A is true and C is false oh, the or it would be true so since this is true we continue to be interested in this premise or this interpretation uh, the second premise A if and only if B uh, A is true and B is false so A if and only if B would be false Remember, we're trying to determine, we're trying to find a case that shows the argument to be invalid, it means we need all true premises and a false conclusion, but this premise is not true, so we can eliminate this line as well. It will not show us the argument is invalid. So let's push on to interpretation six. Uh, A is false and C is false on this interpretation, which means A or C is false. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so immediately uh, interpretation 6, line 6, is ruled out. That won't show us that the argument is invalid. So uh, we must consider line 8, interpretation 8, our last one. Uh, A or C, A is false here, C is false here, and when we do the or, we end up with a false. So again, we don't have true premises with a false conclusion, so we eliminate this. So we've eliminated every possible interpretation from showing the argument is invalid. Therefore, we're going to say that this argument is valid valid. Let me show you another uh, argument and see what happens here. Uh, here we have the argument A or C, A if and only if B, not B, therefore not C. Again, three statement constants, eight possible interpretations. Uh, let's calculate the conclusion, not C first. It's just the opposite of the C column, so it would go false, true, false, true, false, true, false, true. And remember, we're trying to prove that the argument is invalid, uh, so we need a true premises and a false conclusion, which means we're going to eliminate all those conclusions that turned out true. So we're going to eliminate this line, uh, interpretation 4, interpretation 6, interpretation Eight, and now we're going to calculate uh, the remaining uh, lines and the remaining interpretations. Line one, A or C. A is true, C is true, so we get true. That would mean uh, we're still interested in this interpretation, so let's look at A if and only if B. A is true on line one, and B is true, so we would get true, so we're still interested. Um, how about the third premise? Uh, B is true, so not B would be false. So we did not find a case of all true premises with a false conclusion, so we're going to eliminate that and search elsewhere. Looking at interpretation three now, A is true and C is true, so this is true, so we're still interested. Uh, next premise, A is true and B is false, so true if and only if false is false. So that eliminates that interpretation uh, from showing the argument is invalid. Uh, how about interpretation five? Um, A or C, A is false, but C is true, makes A or C true, so we're gonna continue on with this. Now we're dealing with A if and only if B. A is false, B is true, so I get false, which means we can eliminate this one. 
All right, uh, last case to consider is uh, line 8, interpretation 8. Uh, A is false and C is true. If we do the or, we find out that this is true. Uh, how about line or uh, premise 2, which is A if and only if B? A is false and B is false. If you do the if and only if, uh, you discover that that is true. All right, so we're still interested in this one. The last premise we need to calculate is not B. B is false, so not B would be true. So now look what we have. The first premise on interpretation seven turns out to be true. The second premise turns out to be true. The third premise turns out to be true, but the conclusion is false. So that means that this argument is invalid on line seven, and we are done. Now, it can turn out that an argument may have more than one interpretation that shows it's invalid. All you need to do is find one and you are done, but there may be more than one. And remember, if you never find such a line, then you simply say that the argument is 